Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for to make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. This mother couldn't believe what the doctor was doing with her daughter, so she decided to record it. Dear friends, today I bring you a story that for many may be impressive. Doctors are the people we turn to many times for help and support. After all, when we have small children at home, they tend to get sick, and that situation compromises the whole family. But in our health and in our emotional state as parents. But many times we don't know what can happen inside hospitals. What our children feel when they must be left alone and struggle with all the obstacles they encounter. Today, I bring you a story that shocked many people when a mother recorded everything that happened inside a hospital because she, seeing what this doctor did with her little one, decided that everyone should know the kind of person to whom they were entrusting the lives of their most important little people. This event happened in California when a desperate mother came home and found her little Sophia lying on the ground. Her despair was so great that she immediately decided to take her to the nearest hospital for help. Lauren was a very busy woman as she'd been a single mother for a few years. For her husband, Matthew had abandoned her for another woman, leaving her completely helpless, for the man had disappeared from the city and had not heard from him again. At those times, the woman went through a lot of financial problems, so she had no choice but to start working again. Her only problem was who she would leave her daughter with. This is how Lauren decided to hire a teenage girl as a babysitter. Everything was fine for a long time, but that day the girl had had a fight with her boyfriend and had left little Sophia alone at home. That's when the accident happened. The little girl tried to reach for some sweets. She quickly got on a chair, and when she was about to reach for it, she fell. When she finally reached the hospital, her mother ran desperately through the corridors for help. And it's there where she met Dr. Tony Adkins, who later would be responsible for her life changing very abruptly. The doctor received little Sophia and immediately took her for the routine examinations. The desperate mother tried to follow him, but suddenly her cell phone began to ring as she had to leave for work and take care of Sophia. Wait a minute, my love, I'm coming for you, Lauren said as she answered the phone. The call took longer than it expected, and she'd been a busy month for her. The income had dropped considerably, and she had to take care of everything since she could not stay without the position. Work had become one of her priorities. The woman was very sorry that she had no time for her daughter, of course, but if she didn't work, what would her daughter eat? but she could no longer afford the way she attended. And what would people say? Well, she had always belonged to a high social class in which she had to meet the standards that society imposed on them. Moments later, the same doctor went looking for Lauren, who had just finished his call. He informed her that he had already done the tests on Sophia and that she unfortunately needed an emergency operation. Well, it turns out that the little girl had suffered a concussion to the brain, and if they didn't operate on the little girl quickly, she could cause irreparable damage. Lauren, who was very stressed and worried about work, didn't even ask to see the exams and signed all the papers for the operation to take place the next day. Unfortunately, she couldn't miss another day of work, so the next day, the woman took her things and left her little girl in the hand of the doctors, who would know what to do with her. But what Lauren didn't know was that the scene that she would see when she returned would change her life completely. Little Sophia felt very lonely in that cold hospital bed. It was there that she met Dr. Tony, who immediately smiled at her, as he had seen how her mother had left moments before her, and she had gone to her company. She began to tell him many things about her school and how she'd been that she had the accident. She also asked him about her mother, and she confessed that she was very afraid. She had never had a surgery. Dr. Tony took the little girl by the hand and decided to reassure her. She told him about everything they did in that hospital, and as soon as she was well, she could go out and play with the other children that were in the place. Tony Adkins was the kindest man the little girl had ever met, so she gave him all her trust. Together they went to her operating room, where he spoke to her until the moment she fell asleep with the anesthesia, promising that he would be with her at all times, and he would also be there when she woke up. That's right, Dr. Tony was there when she opened her eyes again. Sophia asked many times about her mother, who had only come to ask about her once. Tony explained that she'd gone to work, but she had asked him to take care of her at all times. Lauren had had a very heavy day, but she had been called from the hospital where her daughter was. Thus, finishing all that she had pending, she went to that place. 
When she arrived, she approached the room where a little girl was. It's what she saw and heard. She left her paralyzed. Her daughter was in the hospital room with the same doctor who had treated her. She was crying inconsolably and crying out for her mother. When Lauren walked in, the scene she saw, she couldn't believe it. Well, the doctor was next to her stretcher and tried to encourage and comfort her because he understood what it felt like to be in the same situation as her little girl. He, too, had lived a long time sick and in hospitals, so his parents had to work hard for him to receive his treatment. In this way, he had innovated a new style of recovery. He tried to encourage and heal them through joy and music, for laughter would always be the best medicine for him. Dr. Tony went from room to room every day and encouraged his little patients to dance and get out of their beds. Well, despite some of his diagnoses, he believed faithfully that the human body should always be happy and in motion, always trying to preserve the magic of childhood in his patients, since he understood what it was like to live that way. When Lauren saw this doctor sing and dance with her little girl, she couldn't believe the joy she saw in her. Sophia started laughing and jumping all over the place. It was then that her mother realized that she was missing the most beautiful stage of her daughter, so she decided that she would get a job that, even if it paid less, would allow her to see that smile every day. Lauren thanked this man who had made her daughter stay at the hospital a completely different experience, to which he replied, It's an honor for me to be able to share with your daughter, who's very intelligent and loving. She's very lucky, and aside from studies, show that when people laugh, smile, and become more interactive, the effect on the brain is more powerful than some pain relievers. This is how, dear friends, the doctor brings a smile to his patients every day and teaches them to embrace life with joy, trying to make their stays at the hospital a different experience. Life is hectic for everyone, particularly parents and families. Our to-do lists get longer as the days pass, and other priorities tend to take priority over quality family time. According to research, it's important to arrange regular family time with your children. You spend a lot of time with your children as a busy parent, but is it genuinely quality time? Quality time is spending time with your children and giving them your undivided attention as they engage in activities that they enjoy. Spending quality time with your children doesn't have to be a major undertaking. It can be as easy as setting aside a few minutes per day to be alone with them. So why is it so important to spend quality time with our children? Children are less likely to have behavioral problems at home or at school, according to Jones. Children who spend more quality time with their families are less likely to engage in harmful habits like substance or alcohol abuse. It's important to show your children that you love and care about them in order to keep them mentally and emotionally healthy. The best way to do this as a parent is to spend quality time with your children on a regular basis. Physical well-being is more common in children who spend more quality time with their families. Overall, spending quality time with your children is vital not only for their well-being but also for your own. Even if a parent and child spend long days together, the parent's focus may be split, and the child's resentment grows as they long for the affection they feel when they realize they're truly the center of their parent's life for a short or longer period of time. Carving out time in a parent's busy life isn't always easy, and it may require some preparation, but the rewards of spending quality time, also known as special time, for both parent and child are well worth the time and effort. Quality time normally leads to a lovely strengthening of the bond and thus plays an important role in assisting children in overcoming frustrations, anxieties, and even trauma. Through the reflection we offer them during the day, the child is learning about their environment and shaping their self-image and sense of self in the world. When a parent can set aside some time per week, ideally a couple of hours, but even 10 or 15 minutes during the day to spend quality time with their child, something magical happens as the parent's focus really shifts into their child's world. When we really set everything else aside, even for a few minutes at a time, and truly surrender to entering our child's world at any age, it's as if our eyes, hearts, and ears open wider, and we can really hear what our child's saying. Thank you for joining us once again in another reflection. Live life with joy and always spend time with your children. Love them and respect those that life is one and they grow very fast. A big hug, and until the next story. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.